Hi, Emily McCullough here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on navigating the technology in a Zoom session with a, a learner, so a teletherapy session. A lot of you have asked some follow-up questions um, after um, I published a video of a teletherapy session, so I want to go through some of those today. So I'm going to go through a few things. One is how to share your screen and some of the features around screen sharing. Two, how to give remote control of your computer to your learner. And three, I'm going to talk a little bit about boom cards and resources you can use um, to in your ABA programs to kind of help them have a visual. And uh, four, I'm going to talk about how to use PowerPoint um, to create digital token systems and other uh, and other uh, resources and materials. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to show you how to share your screen. When you're on Zoom, there's a tool toolbar at the very bottom that allows you to do various functions. And one of them is in green, and that says share screen, and that you, you just click on that button. There's different options. You can share your whole screen. You can do go to the whiteboard, and that's where you saw I did a drawing game with the learner I was working with. You can also just open up windows, uh, certain windows, um, and share those like different browsers. So I'm going to do the full screen so you can see everything that I'm doing. All right, so now I can you can see my full screen. And you should be able to see all of my um, toolbars and functionality within Zoom, but the learner doesn't see this. Um, the learner cannot see what you're doing. Um, within Zoom, but they can see what's on your screen. So I have a browser open and I have a data collection system open. Now, typically I wouldn't want my learner to, to see the, the data collection system. So I would, when I'm sharing my screen, I would, could only share this window here, but I wanted it to, you to be able to see what it looks like on my screen. Okay, so let's talk about giving remote control. So if I want, if I have a boom card activity ready to go, so I'm just gonna open one. Okay, so I just open it, it's in preview mode. So I didn't have to assign it to any learner, I can just pull it up. Now, if I want the learner to, to interact with this boom card, I can share the remote control. So I'm gonna do that with Doug. Oh, did I forget to introduce Doug? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'm Doug. This is Doug, and he's helping me with today's demonstration. Thank you. <laughs> so, Doug, I'm going to share this remote control. So you see I'm clicking on remote control, and you can see it says Doug, and then I can click on it. And now Doug can move the mouse around. See, I'm, I'm not moving it. Go ahead, Doug. Move it. Are you moving it? I'm moving my mouse. Okay, so now you can select. Is the dog dirty or clean? Oh. Yay, Doug! Okay, so, <laughs> so um, he can interact with this activity that I've pulled up, and then I can take the remote control back by just clicking on remote control and abort control. All right. Um, you can just keep it on so then you can share with each other. Sometimes it gets a little bit, um, it gets a little bit confusing. You might forget they have control and you're kind of fighting over it. So, um, you can just also abort control. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to talk about boom cards. So I showed you, I opened up this boom card, um, and this is an awesome resource that you can use for teletherapy and it's, um, boomlearning.com and you can go. Um, and purchase boom cards within and within boomlearning.com and you can and you can search different boom cards within boom learning by like special education um, and put you can put in like ABA oh show me free stuff there we go and so it, it will pull up different boom cards that other people have made and some of them are free, so there's there, there's a point system, and some of them you buy. Um, another great resource is uh, Teachers Pay Teachers, and you can sign up for an account. An account for is free, but then you go in, you can purchase 
um, downloads and printables, and also Boom Cards. So if you go into Boom Cards and you put in um, the grade level or a topic, you can search through all the different published Boom Cards and you can purchase them. And they're usually just like two or three dollars. Okay, another thing I want to show you is I used a PowerPoint in my uh, therapy and I used the PowerPoint as a digital token board. Now I just created this in PowerPoint and I um, copied and pasted different clip art. And then um, if you have the, the slide, the PowerPoint open in edit mode, then you can just move everything around as needed. If you, if you have it in slideshow mode, you can't do that. So you have to keep the PowerPoint in open in edit mode. Now, um, I also created uh, pages with GIFs, which are those movable pictures. Um, and if you want those to move, you actually have to put it in slideshow mode. So how you do that is you click on whatever slide you want to display. So I'm gonna click on this dog. And then I go to the slideshow down at the bottom, that's in the way. So it's right over here at the bottom left, right corner, it says slideshow. And I click on that and we'll go into the slideshow mode and it will show the GIF, which is fun. You can use it as a reinforcer. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the sharing, the sharing feature and show you how you can use the whiteboard and you can, instead of sharing your screen, you can share a whiteboard. And this is where you can then draw and you can then again, give your um, learner remote control access. So Doug, I'm gonna give you access and now he can draw. And then he can draw something so you can- Oh, there it goes. Friends. Yeah, you can play hangman or Doug is a better drawer than I am. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, um, so now I'm going to take back, I'm going to report remote control. And now I'm going to show you how you can, in the share screen, you can now um, block out the data collection. So if I want to just show them boom cards and keep the data collection hidden. So here's my data collection uh, programs over here. So let's say I'm tracking some behaviors, like running away from the, from the screen or, or something like that. I can have the boom cards going over here and they can't see them because they can only see what's in the window with the green border. So then I could be I could be over here to tracking behavioral behaviors or I could be tracking progress on the program. Um, drawing a circle or a square and I can navigate this data collection system. Of course, the data collection system, um, the one I'm using is motivity.net, um, but the data collection system would need to be browser-based to be able to, do, to use this functionality. All right, that's a quick tutorial on navigating the technology around using Zoom um, teletherapy. Okay, I hope that helped. Bye. Thank you, Doug.